the semifinals. Uh, it would not surprise me in the slightest if we see Geyer and David Thibodeau go to Game 7 here in the Grand Finals as well. Determine who we are going to send to Kansas City, Missouri for their chance at $100,000 in scholarship money. Oh, my goodness. Uh, getting the chance to play at land, a shot at that scholarship money, having an HSEL South winner's title. So much on the line just in this match that these players have to work for. And it all begins here in game number one. Nom has a flick opportunity. Nice save, though, from Silas. And Geyer Wildcats being tested on the onset. It's crazy to think about, Pyro. Just to, you know, you're working on, on your mechanics. You're working on your scrims. You're spending hours in there just practicing your aerials, practicing your positioning, and doing all these little minute things. And it culminates week in, week out into this season. And you put together this 8 no season. And it comes to this grand finals where you have the opportunity to go to Kansas City. And Silas starting Geyer off with a strong goal here in the first minute of game one. It can be so difficult to execute with all of that on the line and thinking about all the prep that's gone into this moment here, but you've got to credit the players that can execute on the moment. The Wildcats going to be the first on the board here to start things off. But still, Bull Skunk, we know there's a long way to go till we meet, meet the end of this series. Oh, yeah, bare minimum. Bare minimum. Another 19 minutes of Rocket League to play. And I anticipate it'll be uh, considerably more than that. Mm. We saw DT, DTSMA earlier here in playoffs. Their incredible run. I mean, both these teams undefeated in regular season. Both these teams uh, coming in first seeds for their, their respective divisions. Right. That's so been two teams who are not used to losing whatsoever on the goal line. Bio makes the save, but Geiger can't keep it out forever. And eventually... David Thibodeau respond and equalize here in game one. Woo. I can tell what you mean about not being used to losing because that defensive front, it held up for a while. That's the type of resilience you need to get to this position in a tournament. But after the missed backflip and other things going loose, uh, there was no choice other than for DTSMA to take advantage, get a point on the board. We're all tied up here and uh, already seeing why both of these teams have made it this far. Extraordinarily talented. That's the best. Playing along outside wall. Big battle in midfield for possession. To try to push this forward in what has been a dead lock first two minutes of game one thus far. Bio and Guy are eventually able to find a little bit of room to work. Will this result in any shots? Not looking like as much. Gets sent away to the outside. Silas steals it in the box, pushes it in, but doesn't have a lot of backup to work with and just has to rotate back out. Geyer sends one, sends two. Starting to push up, looking for something here, committing on this attack. Still can't get really much towards that. Eventually get that. What was that? The craziest roll I've seen all day. Goes in favor of Geyer Wildcats. Now they're up to one. And you know what, DTSMA, they're not feeling disrupted or feeling rushed on defense. They played their roles, they've rotated nicely, but it's a little too slow. Guy or Wildcats have the offensive capabilities to punish players who are too slow. They got that cheeky second touch in the corner and then the dunk. I think DTSMA, they're going to be forced to play a little bit faster, uh, a little more aggressive as they are fending off the countless attacks from Geyer. I mean, and Geyer are immediately on the assault once again. Knockers does a good job to get that ball down to Nam and clears a lot of space with an opportunity in front of the net, but Bubbly's all over it. Big clear, Silas right in front of the net. He tees it up. Nam able to get it out of there. Geyer Wildcats can't follow through, but they're still going to put pressure down. Bubbly working off the top, one to drop it down to the middle. Good defensive play, and DTSM find the clear you know i think a lot about last match where those clears happen like, like the one we just saw and they were actually scoring opportunities a lot of time for the westwood regional cardinals we just saw win the match but guy or wildcats they don't let those strong offensive pushes uh get punished on those quick counter attacks they have that third player ready on defense to sort of fend off those long attacks even if they're on target so 
Gar Wildcats. They've only conceded one goal, and it's because of that transition oh. defense. But, I mean, what kind of defense can stop this shot? I mean, you got to be able to protect the future. And I mean to the T as Nam puts that laser perfectly in the upper 90. You don't get a more accurate shot than what we just saw Nam put in to tie us up with exactly one minute to go. It is the peak potential of these Rocket League players that has to be performed here today to get these shots to go. Otherwise, the strong holding defenses are going to bat those shots away. This one does meet the infield of the guy Wildcats. They're rushing away this ball to get out. Bio with that demolition should help them escape here. Jaker doesn't want any of that business. 30 seconds to go. Tied all up. Demolition on the line. Guy Wildcats still surviving. Guy Wildcats, uh, I think their heart skipped a beat on that one. After Jaker got that demo, that ball was slow rolling towards the net. Another opportunity here. Good job. Uh, from Geyer to get it not only out of the goal, but into their opponent to take the lead with 15 seconds to go. It's Bio who gets that clear perfectly onto the hood of Silas. That's just beautiful Rocket League. I don't know how else to put it. The clear perfectly matches up with the redirect shot down the field. Geyer Wildcats attack DTSMA and they're going to no. get another to go off the crossbar. And DTS May, you can kiss your hopes of game one goodbye. Oh, teams were dead even for four minutes and 45 seconds here in game one. And then Gar Wildcats, more specifically Bio, comes in with two gigantic haymakers. And suddenly DTSMA are on one knee and looking down and out, at least in game one. The Wildcats will take the early lead in the championship. And what a win it is, Wildcats. You had to earn that one. DTSMA, they were fighting back with the goals that they could score, especially the the dime of a corner shot that we saw from Nam. And we knew it was going to be tough to scrape away this win, right, Bullskunk? These are two undefeated teams. Two teams with an overall. And I think game one, these players can definitely say that. We're going to... Get right back into this match, folks. Game number two is underway as the Geyer Wildcats are working off of that first win. DTSMA want to get started early. DTSA need to find a way to respond. And David Thibodeau did some good work of that. I mean, shots were, were relatively even. Good pressure here early in game two. Nob had a phenomenal goal. Uh, and, and was been an all-star here for this squad. Needs to step up. All right, game to the rest of the series. DTSMA, the Bulldogs. Want to keep it in spitting distance. Keep this one close. Yeah. There's a little bit of back and forth here early in game two. Nobody willing to commit too heavily just yet. I'll tell you what, like, yeah, absolutely. You expect Nam to maybe make some plays like that. But hopefully DTSMA aren't forcing Nam to make all the plays. We just Got saw it. in this first minute, Knockers have two really good looks at the net and not be able to put either on target. Uh, every player right now of David Thibodeau has to come up big here in the finals. Otherwise, it's going to be too much responsibility and weight on one player's shoulders. And that's the beauty of this. I mean, it takes more than one. It takes a full team to rise to to this level, to rise to, to be a champion can't do it all alone. It has to be everybody elevating each other. DTSMA denied on the goal line here on what was a, a decent developing opportunity. Double demos is going to create a 2v2 in front of the net. Guy or Duke gets denied on that. And it looks like Knockers is going to be able to dribble this one out. Flicks it over the head of Silas. Silas is able to get up to it and match it, though. That's a good matchup. Silas. Wasting no time pushing this ball down the field. Interestingly, we do get Jaden Jazzle there, who's on the 50, being pushed off the play. Sub in here for the Geyer Wildcats. That's going to switch things up for a team that already got the win. You don't really see four-player rosters in, in the professional leagues, or uh, hardly ever in these teams, but it's impressive for a team to get that one win and still switch up the roster here, Bullskunk. 
I mean, we're, it's still a scholastic event. Uh, there's still merit to getting everybody some experience and all the students getting a chance to grow and get into play and, and get into experience this championship. So props to Geyer for, for allowing all four players on uh, you know, an opportunity to come shine. Uh, speaking of shining, though, here's a name I was top before, able to break the stalemate in game two. It's Nam screaming across, putting that shot in almost the exact same spot. They put their first goal. <laughs> It's magnetized there to the top corner. Nob knows exactly where to put that ball for the goal to go. And yeah, that's going to work out fantastically for them. And they want to work right off of that. Nob's up again for the backboard read. It's going to get away from them, though. Bio looking at Jaden Jazzle for the touch here. Knocked away, though, by J Curb. Nob just gets um, a, a, an almost perfect touch every time. I don't know how it is. It takes such a meticulous control over your car to be able to do that. And it does make Guy or Wildcat's job defending him so much harder. And an impeccable attention to detail. I think Nam's got both of them. As we see Nam getting several important touches here on this defense. Narrowly keeping that one out and is going to rise to the occasion to meet that one. Now let's push back down. And it's Knockers who comes up for the second touch as... The volleys continue over the midfield line. Nam's going to push it to the outside, see if they can break this trend. Jacob keeping it in. And the Bulldogs slowly starting to progress towards the blue box. Good one-two touch out of Geyer. They find a route away into the orange half. TSMA meet him at the corner. And not a whole lot of offense over the past 60 seconds from either of our squads. Not quite. But you know, as time wears thin, Geyer Wildcats going to need to risk it even more and more. Bio, a good touch there off the ceiling. Silas wants it. It's too high. Jaden Jazzle towards the other side. Jacob still fends it away, but Bio has a follow-up. Geyer send it all and reap the benefit. It's Bio who finds this opening. I mean, sending it all just pulls the defense, and the result ends up being the Bulldogs... It's kind of in a scrambled spot, kind of looking disheveled after all was said and done. And Geyer still maintaining their composure in front of the net. Bio in particular, perfect positioning there for that tying goal. Looking for the game leader right here. Any goal could be just that. As Silas, it's a good carry out. And an extra flip as well off of that reset. But it just takes it to the corner. Does by Geyer. Wildcats, more time on the possession, though, as Knockers fence his way towards the goal line. Gets a touch there as well, setting up the teammate Woo! for the shot. Numb, a piercing blow, but it doesn't get past the defense. They'll have to work even harder for that go-ahead goal. Yeah, Silas with some bulletproof armor there. Able to send that one away. That laser gets deflected. Bulldogs still putting a lot down here, though. Yeah, you see protect the midfield line. They are not done. This one's going to go through to J-Curve. J-Curve can't get up high enough to make the shot. Silas wants out. Geyer was out of their zone desperately. Still finding no means of escape just yet as the line is held firm. And overtime begins. The Bulldogs with an incredible barrage there to close out regulation a game two. Can they carry that momentum here in OT? Golden goal will decide our winner here. They certainly will hope oh. it does, but Bio already attacking here. It's all laid off the backboard shot there for Jaden. Just misses the top corner. It was a great idea. It was away from the defense, but he just missed the mark here. Silas pass out to Jaden. Doesn't connect, but there's a redirect. The pop right over the crossbar. Still sent away by Knockers. Bulldogs stay alive for now as overtime presses on. Nom, a tap above. Bio gets the clear. Bulldog showing off some real telepathy here. Seems to be reading the thoughts and the intentions of Geyer and able to get in front of a couple of plays with no reaction time. Now here, good pass to Nom. Gets intercepted by Silas. Knockers is going to push it back down into the corner, able to beat one with it. Nom with a touch, keeps it in the zone. Second touch on the fall, try to leave it for a teammate, but there's nobody there. Screaming across, Silas. The nice touch. Try to dance around Nom. Nom decides to just break in their tracks. Bio has to come through to muscle it across the line. A minute 11 has passed. And Nom pushes it back down into the Wildcats territory. And the Bulldogs could be looking down the barrel of an 0-2 set for this series. Unless they can get this goal. They've got a possession now. 
Ball climbs to the ceiling, but it's a good first touch here from Bio. Sets up all kinds of opportunities. The oh! reset play included. Perfectly executed. The Wildcats get their second win. Oh my. Look at this move. Just that, that split decision, that hesitation before hitting the extra touch so that they lose just a bit of elevation and it puts them right in the middle. Oh, just incredible, incredible stuff coming out of the Wildcats. Well-deserved to Oli here in the finals. Sometimes all it takes is that that solo hero play, Bullskunk. And, and imagine the nerves as well. Play, I've got it. Not a problem. Secures that overtime win. And in a flash, we are straight into game three. Bio doesn't want the momentum to stop anytime soon. Uh, in a flash, the Wildcats have the lead immediately after spending a decent amount of time there at a stalemate, all tied up. Geyer, uh, well, they, they, they were having, have had enough of that, Bio in particular. Great opening goal. I mean, I feel like we, we didn't really get a chance to properly cover how amazing that overtime winner was from yeah. the Wildcats. And we're already talking about their game leading goal five seconds into game three. I know, right? That is how well prepared I think this team was to get to the finals. Listen, some teams, some players, especially in high school, the nerves kick in. And it's weary, but... Okay, Knocker says I'm ready to hit these shots on target now. Uh, the first two games, they're out of the way now, Bull Skunk. It's time to play, and Knockers will take advantage. I can't help but wonder if perhaps, you know, perhaps there was almost overexcitement, you know, downright nerves, mm. you know, getting a, a little jitters coming in. But we're we're over ten minutes in now. I think our players are starting to settle in, trying to find their rhythm a bit. Uh, at least that's uh, evident to me by what we saw from Knockers. We're seeing we're seeing Nam looking a little bit more calm on this approach as well. I want to see our team settle in, show us what they really got. Nam working out the outside, gets it stolen. Bulldogs on the back foot. Oh, and it's a scary situation as well. And if you can't yeah. get a touch, then yeah, it's all going to be let loose here, bubbly. Who's now going to join in for the Wildcats is going to, well, enter in with the show. Bubbly says, I am here. I am here to play. Ah, <laughs> uh, who, who, who took a, who did Bubbly play? We got Bubbly, Bio, and Silas out there. Okay, so no Jaden on the pitch here for, for our third game. Yeah, they're switching it up, and you know what? It yeah, is working well for the Wildcats right now. They Seriously. might even find a third here. Bio has enough boost for that punch. It's up the oh. post. Oh, and it was well set up for Bubbly, but Jacob somehow climbs to the save. This is still dangerous, though, for DTSMA. Yeah. And that is a deadly connection. I mean, it's... Jacob gets three pretty fantastic saves off of this. Uh, in the end, it is a reversing shot out of Silas. And really just a wonderful one-timer there set up from Geyer. But it propels them to this 3-1. Admirable attempt on the defense, but overwhelming pressure out of Geyer. And they're not done. They immediately go back on the assault once again. Yeah, no foot left off the gas pedal here. It really speaks to what we need to see out of DTSMA in terms of their saving prowess. A, a, a block on the ball is not going to be enough. It has to be intentional in the way the ball is carried out to a safer territory or to a teammate. Nam takes to the corner, out to his teammate there. It's the right idea, but Guy Wildcats give no room to breathe right now to David Thibodeau. You know, and I was talking about our team's kind of settling into their rhythm a bit. Mm. Uh, I don't think there's any greater example of that than a reversing goal. Ah. Like, nothing says, I am completely in control and calm and composed. Like, I'm going to sit here and just back up and get this goal. You know what, Silas? That was good enough. Why don't you come over here and just double down? Why not? Let's make it two. Wow. Wow, indeed. <laughs> the angles that these players are taking. I mean, you consider that shot, and you consider that goal in reverse as well. That was off of a passing play where the pace of the game was 
quickened to a maximum. And clearly, this is where the Wildcats flourish. They are not only in rhythm. Uh, when the pace of the game is as quick as it could be, that's where they reach the highest of their potential. They're, they are moisturized in their lane, scoring goals and happy. Neutral kickoff here. God, I mean, we're only halfway through game three, mm. and Geyer have, have really just elevated this to another plane. As they seem to be dancing around the Bulldogs at the moment, immediately coming in on the offensive zone. And and with rotations, you know, you were talking about how you don't usually see four-player rosters. And, and this feels like it's more than just a service to the players to give everybody some experience. It feels like it, it throws the opponents off because you have slightly different looks each time. Well, that's supposed to be the advantage of a best of seven is at least you learn more and more about the players as you go. And when you meet these, like, 1v1 situations or you see these passing plays start to take shape and take form you sort of know what to expect Pubbly's in and out save oh so gorgeous i think jacob actually paused a moment there on the backboard thinking if that doesn't go in what will um, yeah but yeah with this with this four player team you get pretty much anything it is very hard to predict what they're gonna do I saw that moment you're talking about from J Curve too, where you can you can see the look on the car's face of what do I gotta do? Right. Ah, uh, there's not much. There's not much at this point. At least not in no. game three. Six to one now. And the Wildcats. Uh, at this point, they can start to see that finals bid in their view. It will take just one more after this just about assured game number three win for them to get their place at HSEL Nationals. God, game two was so close. So back and forth. So down to the wire. And five seconds in the game three. Wildcats break the seal and the whole dam crumbles and the floodgates just pour down into the valley. Wildcats relishing in this. As, I mean, there's still some time left. Like, let's listen. Okay. It's not over. Okay. All right, Pyro, it is not over. I'm with you. I am with you. One minute, four goals. I want to say I've seen it before. So let's see it again. Knockers. Okay, we've got two players on the Bulldogs position for this shot. It takes Nam a second to get there, but they manage it. They needed to go every 15 seconds, and that 15 seconds has passed. Not only that, cool. we've got another in for the Wildcats. They are unrelenting. Uh, yes, they are truly. Uh, that is the perfect word for this. Because Wildcats, it's oh, two gears. First and sixth, and that is the end. <laughs> There's nothing in between. And Wildcats have not put it out of six gear, uh, I mean, basically since the opening two minutes of the series. There was like, the first two minutes of the series, our teams were kind of feeling each other out. Mm. Wildcats just dropped that stick shift and said, let's go, full bore. We're breaking the speed limit here. We're breaking the sound barrier. We want to go to Kansas City as fast as humanly possible. I was going to say, I... They've got first and sixth gear. I don't remember the last time I've seen first gear out of this team. They, they, re <laughs> they really did come out the gate ablaze. Uh, that was like kickoff, like opening kickoff. You yeah. know, where, where they're still they're still warming their thumbs up. You know, like that's they, they are have, they're in first gear for all of about ten, maybe fifteen seconds. Okay, and okay. then it's sixth gear for the remainder of the series. That's I my want story, them to and share I'm these. To uh, yeah, I want them to share these presets, okay? I, I'm, I'm looking <laughs> to get some uh, action on, the, on this car as well so that I can start out my games like this too. Uh, it is an overwhelming, commanding, and convincing victory for the Wildcats as they move on to a 3-0 lead in the series. But let's take it back a step here, Bull Skunk, because we've seen games like this where they kind of Come off the rails early on take in the finals. We may be entering a game of historic fashion where the Bulldogs could pull off this reverse sweep right here, right now. Two undefeated teams taking each other on. And it's just one win away, though, from the Wildcats to get this victory.
We've already sent one team out of the Southern Division to our Nationals in Kansas City, Missouri. Our Arlington Martin High School out of Texas will be moving on thanks to their performance in fall. Which team will join them? Can the Wildcats close it out here in the next four and a half minutes and punch their ticket to Nationals? Oh, you know they'd love to. You know they'd love to travel for Rocket League, compete at a LAN. Not have to deal with the ping sometimes. You know what I mean? It's zero yeah. ping over there on the PCs. And nothing's stopping you from reaching your potential like Bio tries to do there on the double tab. But if Bulldogs have learned one thing, it's to defend plays like that. Oh, Silas with an incredible move. Somehow numb. Comes back in to bail him out. Uh, they bail J Curve out of that defense. Keeps us at a nil nil score line. Here to start things off. Nothing would make me happier and see the Bulldogs fight back into this thing and, and create a series. As a commentator, you know, I'd like to see my finals go further than a 4 0. <laughs> uh, it's still incredibly impressive what the Wildcats have done any way you slice it. It will, and it, you know what? It'll create a great storyline for HSCL Nationals saying, hey, this team in the finals, a sweep. They, they are coming into this with confidence that being said both these teams did go to game seven in their semifinals, so they've been tested they know what it's like to go the distance bulldogs being in this position down 0 three in the series they'd love to do just that but they've got to block another take from bio it's a good press there from nom nom is laying it all out on the line this game to keep the bulldogs in it oh and that's what you want to see i'm trying to work out of the quarter also through a couple defenders but it's a wall. Gets a little back up. Jacob's going to come in, try to push it off the wall, see if they can create something in the center. There's a demo there from the Bulldogs, but not quite connecting on that offensive opportunity. Going to come back for a reset. Jacob's just going to punch one in from long distance. Beats two. Bulldogs strike first here. And they needed it. They needed it badly. This is exactly what we talked about as well. They've got to lay it all out on the line. J Curb doesn't waste a moment. It is a no hesitation play for that fast aerial and that quick push down the field. Bulldogs get a taste of what the lead is like and they're going to want to hold on for as long as they can. 3.30 to go. This is getting spicy. Wildcats coming off of a seven goal game. Suddenly find themselves with a, a giant big old circle in their score line over halfway through this one. Jaden pushing in, but Nom's going to steal that ball right away. Working in over the top. Gets stopped by Bio into the corner. Two defenders from Geyer come to steal it away. And Silas finally out of the zone. Out of the zone and into the mayhem. The ball goes right in the center of the field. Nom hoping to extend that lead, but the push is away from the net. So it doesn't offer them the greatest chance at scoring, but it does elongate their possession as Jaden Jazzle, the ball's taken right away from them. Ooh. Silas, massive save, and they'll set up another play for themselves. Pass off the backboard here. Jaden's up for it. There's the shot off of the corner. <laughs> and laying down the hammer is Bio. <laughs> oh, let's see, let's see. Was this touch from Bio necessary? Uh, I'm not sure that it was, but you know what? I love the backup. I love the teamwork. Uh, you know, Jaden hadn't scored a goal all day, so I was hoping we could, you know, stick one in their mm. column because that was a beautiful, beautiful setup on that goal. But anyway, you slice it. It's Geyer putting it back to back and robbing the lead away from the Bulldogs. I'll tell you what, you asked for a bull skunk. There it is, Jaden. <laughs> Call the first <laughs> one of the series. Why not? I'll give you one reason why not, because the Bulldogs want to keep this series going. They've lost the lead in what feels like a flash. Yeah, it was absolutely the blink of an eye. Try to get it back here. That shot's going to go over to the outside. Jacob's already had one today, or one in this game, more specifically. Good really using another one here. Buck 11 on the clock. No, I'm going to drop it back out. The shot is good. Knockers is tied us up. Nom has the vision of a clairvoyant here. Look at the tiny tap just to get around Bio, and then the back pass for Knockers to send it through. There is a no-nonsense mentality from this player who is keen to keep the Bulldogs in this series. I love the finesse out of Nom. 
Those those little touches are just what make this game so amazing. And the Bulldogs rush it back in, but Silas takes that momentum and screams down the pitch with it. You want to see if they can turn this back into a lead. Great touch out of Nom there. Forces that one to the outside. Becomes a battle along the wall between Jaden and a couple of players from the Bulldogs. Silas comes in to help out. Fight for possession. Nom wants the back pass to Jay. Kerb will get it, but the touch is yeah, a little off target. Just lands in the laps of the Wildcats players. And Jaden's able to take it back out. 30 seconds to go. Tied up in game four. Guy or Wildcats on championship point. The Bulldogs pushing towards the net. Through the air goes the ball. That one's going to come off the backboard. Goes back into midfield where Knockers is going to pick it up. Punches it down in the middle for Nom, but Silas is the first one to it. Knockers able to rise to meet the occasion, but Bio reached the backboard. Ten seconds to go. Bulldog can't get a handle on it. Nom shooting with as much power as they have. J Curb trying to run through the goal line and decimate the defenders, but nothing is working. Nothing at the final seconds of regulation time. Nom pushes off knockers for the touch. Ball reaches the ground. An extra time. OT is where we'll go. Wild cards one goal away from their Kansas City bid. Our second overtime in four games. Wild cards wants to hear it now. J Curb. Puts a stop. Bulldogs with their back against the wall. Wildcats one goal away from Nationals. Knockers working along the outside. Passes it to Nam in the middle. Wildcats stacking up. Had all three players in front of the goal. Bit of a miss there. Here come the Bulldogs trying to take advantage on the top. Jay Kerb gets one touch. Jen's touch goes right back out to Knockers. But the save is there. Bio has to work to the outside. Find a little bit of room to breathe. And they'll get that. But only for a moment for how fast paced this match has been. Bulldogs to move this ball around here. Knockers gets past one, but it's right in the hands of Silas, who pops it up. That's not going to enable their team to continue the possession. Nom, read on the double for the corner. Shot's going to go a mess, but there it is for Knockers. Sent away by Jaden Jazzle, who again cuts off that shot lane. And this allows the Bulldogs have another shot chance minute into overtime. Silas could set up the double tap. It gets right in front of the net and Bio picks it up. Bio's been here before and scored. Bio. A reset chance denied by J Curb. J Curb with a championship save right there. Giant, much needed clear out of the Bulldogs, but immediately they have to go back onto the defense. So this is ball back out, punched in from midfield. Jaden chasing it down into the corner. Has no boost to work with. Bio comes in for the touch. Pushed back to the outside by Knockers. j Curb falling back to the third man. Nam and Knockers going forward. Nearly two minutes have passed here in this overtime. Nam's able to get over Bio. Has Knockers in the middle. Shot is wide. Silas pushing the outside. Make that save. Nam coming back in. Working off the near post. Bio holding down the fort in the net. Nam with the touch. Off of Bio in the corner. Silas wants to go up for it. Let's it drop. A moment here before the storm strikes. Two players collide at midfield. An even 50. Nam and Knockers. Nam and Jaker, excuse me, pushing in towards the net. Sounds with a big save. DTSM with a miss. Ooh, this one's going down to the wire. Every touch feels so pertinent here, Pyro. Well, it does, especially because there's so many players that if they get a free chance at the ball, they will deal some serious damage. There right it is! Here. Nom! Just the player you expect to do it if it's going to be Bulldogs to push through. And they're going to extend the series to at least a game five. Woo! We get more. We've got at least five more minutes here in your Southern Conference Grand Finals. Bulldogs, hang on. In the second overtime we have seen thus far, this time, able to come out on top for the first time. I think the series even further. Game five is next. Is that save? Is that change from Jay Curb and the Bulldogs indicative of what we're going to see here for the rest of this series? Are they able to finally put a stop to the walk as they found that secret? Uh, it's down to the wire. It took two minutes of overtime. The Bulldogs will find their first win, and they need to find three more in a row to complete this reverse sweep. And Bio has already gone through, coming off the back of a demo. Who was that? Was that Silas who got that demo? Yeah, it sure was. Silas has just been a really smart player this entire series. We talked about the saves earlier, but very impactful on offense as well to deal out a demolition on that last defender. 
Uh, Bio, namely though, finishing that play. I mean, yeah, maybe didn't get that overtime flip reset goal again, but that doesn't mean this player is going to stop. Has gotten the leading goal before. We'll do it again. Gets the demo bubbly. Can't put it on target. Otherwise, that might have been a second. And we do continue the rotations. Speaking of bubbly, so bubbly in for Jaden once again here in this one. Does this look... Does it, does it throw the Bulldogs off the rhythm at all? So far, uh, it's a one goal, yes. Is that enough to hold? Fire, working out of midfield. Looking for a tap here. Wants to drop it back to a player in the middle, but the pass goes too far back. Bubbly will get a shot off of that, but not a lot of power on it. j Curb sends it away. Um, with a big booming shot. Had knockers uh, downfield, I believe. Ooh. Almost. Knockers on the other side now. I'll tell you what, that's the fourth or fifth demolition for the Wildcats in just the minute, first minute 30 in this game. Very, very different from this entire series. Hold on, Nakas had a chance oh. there. Nom's follow-up shot stolen from Bio. No. Oh, it's just so close for Bulldogs to tie this game up. They have survived wave after wave of demolition. Uh, demolitions leading them to just two players on the field at a time. They almost found a goal to equalize here. Uh, they've got to find a way to survive on the field and advance for their own chances. Well, Cats definitely get a lot more physical. We see Jaker turned around, not able to get involved in the play, assumingly based off of some physicality that got them discombobulated. Knockers now trying to push one in. Nom with an opportunity. That one's going to go up high. Follow-up shot bounced off the ground wide of the net. Jaker trying to center that ball back out, but the defense from Wildcats, and they're going to clear back over to knockers and knob though the duo that oh. deals the most damage no noms double tap stolen away would have been the perfect setup for a player like nom to pop off jacob gets around one with the slow and steady maneuvers here comes the air dribble as well to pull the ball into the backboard that's been good real estate for bulldogs they try and work off of to set up some shots set up some passes and some chances but Wildcats have still left them dry throughout game number five. And if the Bulldogs don't find something soon, they're looking down at another game that could pull them out of the season. Bio has had a pretty a pretty nice past minute or so. Uh, it was a huge save to deny Nom the double tap. Big demo as well on the defense. Uh, Bio there comes through with another demo <laughs> denying Nom one of their precious teammates as they try to make this assault looking for this tying goal. But it's Bio who is doing a lot of this bouncer work, who, who's being the enforcer for this Wildcat squad. Coming to some big saves, big clear there from Bio as well. Going to chase this one through the air. Has a player down in the middle, but J-Curb is going to continue that momentum, push the ball over the outside. Silas driving right down the middle. Thought they found an opening. Nom Knocker's there to shut it down. It's very, very close for Silas. I don't think anyone got a piece of the ball that they were really looking for there. Knockers sent out by Silas again. Just about every defender has an answer for the shots that are coming in right now. And that favors Wildcats rather tremendously because they have this goal lead with a minute left. They hold this. And again, we'll have that chance to Kansas City. But we've seen what the Bulldogs can do with limited time. And just a couple chances remaining. Can they pull off a goal again to send to OT? Half of our games in the series have gone to overtime already. Will this one continue the trend? Two goal up for the goal. And Bio, I've been speaking their name throughout this entire game five. Come up with what could be a championship winning goal. 38 seconds remaining and the Wildcats just doubled their lead. Felt like a competition for that shot as Silas was trying to beat Bio to that ball. One way or another, though, they find the shot. And could that be the tournament winner? Champions is the role that awaits the Geyer Wildcats if they fend off the shots once again. Redirect from Bio off of the backboard. Oh, and they're all pushed up so far here. The counter Seriously? for DTSMA could favor them here. Ball off the ceiling. Bubbly tries to get to it. Shot rings right off the backboard. Follow knockers. up for knockers. knockers. That runs in. The Bulldogs ain't finished. Oh, the Bulldogs are not going quietly into the night. They have 10 very precious seconds. 
to send us to the third overtime of this series. It comes down to this kickoff. They don't get it. Bio's going to get the kickoff. Nom's going to push it back down, chase it up into the sky. Five on the clock, and Nom gets robbed. Silas gets it to Bobbly, and the Wildcats will hang on. The ball bounces up one more time, and it's in front of the orange net. This is moment of hope will fall, and the Wildcats rise in celebration as they claim the title of grand champions over the Southern Division. There you have it, folks. The Wildcats.